of the invaders and their mercenaries, including commanders, have been killed in Marib and al Jauf province. A number of Al-Qaeda terrorist elements have been killed in the Mar province. The Saudi aggression continue their rights on residential areas and civilian infrastructure in several provinces. Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Yemen News from Yemen Satellite Channel. The artillery of army and popular committees targeted the gatherings of the invaders and their missionaries in Marib province. A military source reported that the missile force of the army and popular committees have launched al qahir one ballistic missile at the gatherings of the invaders and their missionaries in the defense military camp. The source confirmed that the missile hits its target accurately, inflicting huge human and material losses to the enemies. Yeah. Tens of the invaders and their missionaries have been killed in al Jauf province. A military source reported that the army and popular committees have carried out a Toshka ballistic missile targeting their gatherings at the government compound in Khab district. The source confirmed that the missile hit its target, accurately killing a number of the enemies, including field commanders. He pointed that uh, parties of the invaders and their missionaries are still period under the rappel. The military media released a new footage of their victories against the invaders and their missionaries in Medi district. The footage shows the parties of the enemies who have been killed while attempting to move into the desert of Medi district. It also shows large quantities of weapons and ammunition that the army and popular committees took after defeating the repeated attempts of the enemies to march forward into the bordering district of Medi. Meanwhile, the army and popular committees thwarted a new attempt by the missionaries to move into areas of Hushabwa province. A military source reported that the army and popular committees managed to foil the attempt of the missionaries to move into Asilan area, killing and injuring a number of the missionaries and causing huge damage to their equipment. The source added that the army and popular committees have also taken control over new positions in the district. A number of Al-Qaeda terrorist elements have been killed in the Mar province. A security official reported that the security forces in cooperation with the popular committees have broke into the hideout of the terrorists in al Hada district, killing many of the terrorists. He pointed that the security forces and popular committees have been pursuing the terrorist groups in the province and have forced them to withdraw from vast areas. He said that they have conducted an operation to arrest the leader of the Al-Qaeda terrorist elements, the so-called Muhsin al-Qadiri, but he escaped. The official pointed that a number of the terrorists have been killed and many others have been arrested in this operation. The war planes of the Saudi American aggression continue their strikes on residential areas and civilian infrastructure throughout the country. The hostile war planes have intensified their rights in Taiz province, destroying people's homes and infrastructure facilities in several districts. A local source reported that the war planes of the aggression have targeted Taiz airport and areas in the districts of Haifan and Jebel Habashi, causing serious damage to a number of homes, farms and other public and private properties. The warplanes have intensified their strikes on Taiz province in an attempt to provide air cover for their missionaries on the ground. The hostile warplanes have also carried out uh, fresh attacks on districts of Sana'a province. A security source reported that the warplanes of the aggression have also conducted their strikes on areas of Nahm and Sanhan districts causing damage to a number of homes, agricultural lands as well as public and private properties. 
The hostile warplanes have carried out fresh strikes in Al Jauf province. Uh, a local source reported that the warplanes of the aggression have launched a series of raids on residential areas in Al Ghail district. The source pointed that the airstrikes have destroyed and damaged a number of homes, agricultural land, and other public and private properties. While in Madhya province, the warplanes of the Saudi-American aggression renewed their rights on residential areas in Sarwah district. A local source reported that the warplanes of the aggression have launched three rights on Sarwah district, causing huge damage to a number of houses and public and private properties. The warplanes of the Saudi American aggression have continued launching their strikes on Nahum district in Sana'a province for more than a year. The ongoing air attacks by the hostile warplanes have turned the district into a war striking area. The strikes have targeted residential areas and civilian infrastructure facilities, destroying people's homes, farms, and pastures in addition to other public and private properties. So many people have been killed and others have been injured in the repeated riots on the war planes of the aggression on the district, while those who are still alive suffer from a tragic humanitarian situation. Yemeni people staged the protests uh, in the capital Sana'a to condemn the continuation of Saudi American aggression on their homeland. Protesters from civil society organizations, political parties, and citizens have raised panels and chanted slogans strongly condemning the ongoing aggression since last March, that is, killing and injuring civilians and destroying infrastructure throughout the country. They have also called on the international community, the United Nations, and humanitarian organizations to take for responsibility for the deteriorating humanitarian situation due to the ongoing aggression on Yemen. They stressed that the aggression forces are using internationally panned weapons to commit war crimes in Yemen. They condemned and demanded forming an international independent and impartial commission to investigate these crimes. Yemeni Journalists Union strongly condemns jamming Al Manar TV channel on Nilesat. In a statement to Saba News Agency, Yemeni Journalists Union condemned taking Al Manar TV on the Nilesat off the air, saying these arbitrary measures against Al Manar satellite channel are not acceptable, pointing that this act is a threat to a freedom of press. It added that targeting media outlets is a violation of international laws that guarantee freedom of press throughout the world. Stockholm International Pace Research Institute reported that Saudi Arabia is ranked the third for speeding on arms. According to the, air, to the report, Saudi Arabia's lavish spending on the, its military sector last year contributed to the first increase in global arms spending since 2011. The world also witnessed the rise in military spending due to Saudi Arabia spending $87.2 billion on weapons Saudi Arabia thus ranked third across the international community, standing after the United States and China. Here's a recap of top stories once more. Tens of invaders and their missionaries, including field commanders, have been killed in Marib and Al-Jauf province. A number of Al-Qaeda terrorist elements have been killed in the Mar province. The warplanes of Saudi American aggression renew their strikes on residential areas in several provinces. We have ended our news for today. Thanks for being with us and see you.